Nowadays, CPUs can run at blistering speeds of over 5 gigahertz. Some of them can push even more. But um, what does that exactly mean? Does it even matter? This debate has been going on as long as CPUs have existed. The sort of megahertz myth or gigahertz myth. After all, this is one of, if not the most marketed spec on a given CPU, apart from maybe core count. So what is it? This spec is known as the CPU's clock speed and refers to how many operations or cycles a given CPU can perform at a single second. 5 gigahertz means over 5 billion operations in a second. This is also just wicked cool stuff that we just take for granted nowadays. So if clock speed is how many operations a CPU can perform every second, then more must be better, right? Where's my 10 gigahertz CPU? Well, that was initially the plan. Moore's law, or I think there's another term for that. But uh, a part of Moore's law was that each individual two years would have a doubling in CPU clock speeds. But there are problems. The more cycles a CPU does every second, the more operations it can perform, but it will also draw more power and therefore output more heat. Furthermore, apart from just a power and thermal limit, CPUs can be constrained by their own architecture and what process node have been used to manufacture them. This can put a hard cap on how high the clock speeds the CPU can run. And on that note, we have seemingly reached or is nearing the practical limits of how high we can push these CPUs. From 1995 to 2000, CPU clock speeds have increased from 120 to 1 gigahertz, maybe even more than that for Athlon Thunderbird, I suppose. That's 10 times increase in just five years, tracking actually pretty closely to Moore's law. In that same time period, from 2000 to 2005, CPUs have only gotten up to 3.8 gigahertz. Woof. From that point onward, maximum CPU clock speeds have only really increased slowly over the years. Now, they currently run at 5.3 gigahertz, which is a lot, but it's certainly not a doubling every two years. So it's slowing down. But wait, if CPU clock speeds are no longer increasing, how are CPUs getting faster? Well, architecture plays a huge role in modern CPUs. Nowadays, CPUs can perform tens, maybe hundreds of instructions per clock compared to just one. Meaning that in a single cycle, which remember happens 5 billion times every second, you're not just doing one thing, you're doing tens or maybe even hundreds of things in just that instant. IPC, more often than not, determines the performance of a CPU, not clock speed. Another innovation is multi-core designs. Nowadays, CPUs can have 4, 6, 8, up to 16 or maybe even 64 cores in them. This emphasis in parallelized computing is paying dividends as Moore's law is starting to fail. Now, it's not a perfect solution. Some software and some tasks are inherently not able to be parallelized into multiple cores. But it's better than it used to be and will almost certainly improve as more CPU cores get added into a single CPU. With those in mind, are clock speeds useless then? Well, not necessarily. When comparing like to like with the same architecture on the same generation with the same manufacturer, clock speeds are a good way to compare performance between two CPUs at a glance. But comparing between brands or even just between generations of architectures within the same brand, it's a little more dicey. In some cases, particularly in desktop x86, where currently IPC is neck and neck, it may be helpful to, you know, take a look at it before you buy. But even then, caveats exist. And when you step outside of x86, 
it gets more and more complicated. I'm not saying gigahertz is just a marketing tool, because while it may not matter too much anymore, it's still very important and consumers need to know how fast these CPUs can run at. But for the consumer, keeping in mind that it's not the be-all and end-all spec is really important, especially nowadays. Modern CPUs will feel very snappy even at just 3 gigahertz. So for the vast majority of people, buying a 5.3 gigahertz turbo CPU is probably not necessary. Though, I am also not saying that gigahertz is never used as a marketing spec because as you saw today, they usually is and we do need to educate those who just base on the marketing. Bye.